why the commode did it. There is no big system currently on the market that attaches to a commode that helps for people to clean themselves. Um, there are over 3 million people annually who have either that, that get permanent mobility, whether that be through traumatic bad brain injury, stroke, multiple sclerosis, spinal cord injury. Um, and this, in return, makes them lose their mobility. Um, this device will allow for them to gain back their dignity and allow for them to gain back their independence. So who will buy the uh, commodity day? Well, there's lots of people. Anyone who has the traumatic brain injury or who is limited in mobility would want to buy this device. As well, you're going to want to have nurses, doctors, occupational therapists, or family members buy the device for them especially so that way they can learn how to use the device while in the nursing home, so that way they're just, they don't have to rely on themselves once they get home. So what's our competition? Um, currently, the most primary competition that there is out there would be the Kohler bidet itself, which is just a normal bidet, but um, this isn't quite sufficient enough because it doesn't uh, take care of the limited mobility. It's hard to use, and as well, um, it requires you to be able to stand up over the bidet, which most people with other ability cannot do. Um, as well, there's a portable bidet that sits on a, a toilet. However, again, this doesn't allow for um, the patient with limited mobility to be able to rise up, so it sits too low and it prevents it from um, actually working for limited mobility people. Um, the other major uh, competition they are the already present uh, home care nurses. The home care nurses make it. Um, make visits to the, to the personnel, um, but this is very expensive and very inconvenient. Um, so there's no other bidet out there that, that attaches to a commode. Um, our device will be approximately $200, which is over $300 less than the uh, our next uh, cheapest competitor, which is the uh, Go bidet. Um, as well, the reason that we can s the, re the reasons that we can sell for so much less is due to the fact that we're made of a very cheap but sturdy plastic, and um, it, had, it lacked some of the amenities that um, other more fancy bidets have, such as um, hydraulic opening of the lids, uh, a drying mechanism, and um, just other nice features. So what are our strengths? Our strengths are that we're the only commode out there with the bidet system. It allows for the cleaning and mobility of the limited person, and uh, it's very cheap, as I said. And then um, the weakness is that it only works for a commode, so therefore we're losing a large market share for people who you know don't need a commode or anything like that. As well, it's not as user friendly for as um, as the more expensive things. It doesn't come with the nice like automated uh, electrical components that most other nice bidets. Um, our opportunities is that we're going to be breaking into a really big market that has no solution currently that is that allows independence. Um, and the threat is that the potentially other companies that make these commodes already will try and uh, know of our advice and break into the, uh, the market earlier and quicker than we can. So what are our commodes' strengths? Well, um, we're the only devices I mentioned There are no competitors really currently that we know of. Um, it cleans and dries um, the perineal region for fecal matter. Um, it's cheap and easy to install. Uh, potential for high return due to vast population that we will be um, working with. Um, it creates a new trend and it allows for more people to be able to go home, which is the main objective. Um, it brings back dignity to those who need it. Uh, it's pretty embarrassing to have to have someone clean you and it uh, serves the obese population and it is uh, very customizable to each individual. So our organization, um, currently I would be the head president of the company. Uh, we have two other engineers that are working on the product who would be very uh, at the very top as well and I would be our head chief of marketing and consulting. Um, the the uh, salaries for each individual would be needs based, um, probably for the first year or so. Uh, we probably going to be paying a salary to allow for the company to grow as fast and as big as possible initially, but salaries and share market will be uh, attributed based off of time and work ethic. As Chris said, 
The market's extremely big. It's enormous. How big is enormous? Let me just project some statistics of how enormous this market really is. Every year, 1.4 million people suffer from traumatic brain injury in the United States. Out of those 1.4 million, 235,000 of them are in medical base need, while 50,000 die. Of those 235,000 that are in base need, about 75% of them lose their mobility. Currently, also 10,000 people are going into the nursing home every year. Now, if you can look at the chart, you can see all the ambulatory difficulties. You see how the, it hits about 47.3% of the population, while the difficulty walking adds another 2%. The market's enormous. If you look down over here, we're going to be targeting three of these different fields. The first field is ambulatory difficulty, as well as self-care difficulty for those who are at home and need this device, as well as independent li living difficulty who don't have and don't have to spend, which I'll show you in a second, the price tag for this difficulty. Also, there's 3.1 million people using assistive technical devices as in the United States for cognitive problems, hearing problems, vision problems, speech problems, and most importantly, mobility problems. The most common devices are canes and walking devices, which consist of 4.4 million people, and hearing aids, which are 3.8 million people, walkers, which are 1.7 million people, and wheelchairs, which are 1.4 million people. Of all those different technical devices, about 82% of them have to do with immobility devices that aid the individual. If one looks over here, if you look at the year 2009 and 2010, you see a significant change. You see it, an ambulatory difficulty. About 6 million extra people after one year needed this device even more. And you go, as, the, as you get older and older, the numbers increase. chart, which also, it's a bar, bar graph, which also exemplifies how large the market is. If you look over here, the, the physical immobility that people have in the percentages of, the, of America is 6.2, while 1.8 is for, um, sorry, while 6.4 is for difficulty going, going outside. In the year 2000, there were 23 million potential users, and after one decade, it doubled by 50, 000, 50 million users. Our main target is obesity, but why? America is home to the most obese people in the world. According to the CDC, which stands for the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, obesity in adults has increased 50,000 within the past 20 years, and obesity in children has tripled in the past 30 years. A staggering 33% of American adults are obese and obesity-related. Um, obesity-related deaths accounts for $300,000 in the course of a year. Second only to tobacco death. So if now, if now we're going to, if you see 32.2% of men are obese, and it went up from 5% after just one decade, as well as women. Women also went up by 2% after one decade. And the obesity price tag for people who are obese are just over $6.4 million, uh, $6.4,000. So we're dealing with a large population here. Over here is another bar graph that shows the U.S. says that 34% of the population are obese, and it's just been gradually going up. 42% of them have disability with strong immobile disability, which prevents them from cleaning their own perennial um, reasons. Now, who will we market our device to? Who will buy it? Um, so our number one goal is to get insurance companies to provide, to, uh, like Medicaid and Medicare and possible like possibly like Blue Cross Blue Shield, to provide these medical devices to those in need. Um, but with that being said, and done, we strategically plan to target some of the great, um, some of the magazines that receive the most traffic from disability and immobile personnel. Um, if one looks at the disability magazine, we got four of the different magazines, which will approximately cost about $80,000 in um, advertising for the year. The Instant Media, this is five of the top um, disability uh, websites, which basically bring in anywhere from 250,000 consumers a year to 1.1 million consumers a year, and rake in from anywhere from $25 million a year to $110 million a year. These 
websites will cost about $25,000 per annual year, while magazines will be about $81,000 per year. So, how would we market our plan? Shouldn't be hard to do and very easy to implement once we have a working project for the bariatric mode. Uh, we will begin immediately um, looking into making it accessible for normal mode. So um, we just want to thank you.